next on Love Lester or Run. My style is very like a gothic punkish meets like raver elements. You have 36 pairs of these particular yeah. pants? Yeah, around that. We asked the general public whether they loved your look, lusted after it, or you, or wanted to run. Oh my God. I wouldn't be shocked if she had been arrested or gotten into trouble. I'd run. 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 There is something about this look that is giving off the impression that you're a slacker. When it comes to personal style, your look says a lot about who you are. But what kind of message are you really sending? Does the world see you the way you see yourself? Well, I asked and I found out. And now I'm gonna fix it on love, lust, or run. Oh my God. Hi, Jackie. Hello. Oh, you're wearing sort of similar pants to your pictures. <laughs> My first question is, can you wear those pants skydiving? Because it does seem to me like there's lots of carabiners, you know, that you could like hook things onto, like a parachute, and then just jump. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty fun. You have them in blue, also. You have you have two pairs of them. I have 36 pairs. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jackie. I'm 19 years old, and I live in Bergenfield, New Jersey. Welcome to my universe. My style is very like a gothic punkish meets like raver elements. I love the goth fashion. I like that it's extreme. People definitely tend to profile me when they see me. They're like, oh, she's a hooligan or a criminal. And that's not me at all. I'm actually very friendly and very bubbly, but it's not conveyed well through the way that I dress. You're kidding me, right? No. Jacqueline, you know I don't like that necklace. I like it. I don't like it. It's like a door collar. She looks scary. She, she doesn't look approachable. And I guess that's my concern. I am currently not in a relationship. When I find myself interested in someone, I find my equilibrium thrown off. I'm just too nervous or too uncomfortable with myself to really know how to talk to them. Most of my friends are male, and it would be nice for them to see me as a little bit more than just one of the guys, maybe even someone great to be in a relationship with. I think after the prolonged amount of time I've been like this, it's time to try something new. What is it that you want to look like? What, what kind of image do you want to have? I guess that's what brings me here is that I have absolutely no idea how to dress like normally or for a professional environment. Well, do you think you need to dress for a professional environment? I mean, you're 19. <laughs> yeah, uh, I manage bands and uh, I want to manage a lot more like entertainment companies and stuff. So I definitely have to look more professional for something like that. I can't be walking around in carabiner pants. I'm curious why like somebody at 19 who's like cute and adorable like you would only want to dress in black. I've dressed like this for probably about 10 years. Which Since is, you were nine? Yeah, around that. The first time I went to a concert, I was in third grade. I wanted to be like the kids there. They had so much fun and it just was something I was so drawn to. So music culture really affected the way that you dress. Music culture and part of just wanting to become my own person. I was never one to be part of the crowd. Even talking to people, I do get very uncomfortable meeting people or being in social situations. Black is kind of nice because I can I can learn people like, okay, she's there, but you know, kind of just there. Right, I hear you. Why baggy clothes? I hate my weight. I mean, I'm sure you hear that from like every girl to ever exist, but I genuinely am extremely uncomfortable about it wish there was a way I could feel okay in my own skin, even whether I'm 200 pounds or 100 pounds, whatever the case might be. Okay, neither of those numbers seem like a good idea to me, but you know, yeah, somewhere in the middle. <laughs> somewhere um, in the middle would be a, a very nice spectrum. So before um, we really decide where else you want to go with your style, I just want to make sure that um, you kind of understand what this look might be putting out, aside from just one of the guys, right? Sure. Okay, let's go. You first. Okay. I like my style because it's what I'm used to. I'm not very comfortable with my weight, so it kind of camouflages that and doesn't really show exactly what I look like. What is with those shoes? Are they shoes or are they slippers? They're slippers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you didn't know it was me you were coming to see, right? But I mean, I guess be your authentic self. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we took your look out into the street and we asked people whether they loved it or lusted after it or wanted to run. This is the look that we showed to people. Let's hear what they had to say. Oh my God. She has entirely too much eye makeup on. She looks like just a teenage rebel. It's not a, a soft, feminine, girly look by any means. I might not be that comfortable approaching her. I wouldn't be shocked if she had been arrested or gotten into trouble. Personally, I'd assume she was unemployed. I'd run. 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 How does that make you feel? Not the best.
People are saying that I look like I'm up to shenanigans or unemployed, when in reality, I probably have more of an employment rate than they do. Never been arrested. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you'd ever been arrested, just, just because they brought it up. But, <laughs> yeah, but more I importantly, that's right. You are employed. You're an incredibly hard worker. And, you know, there is something about this look that is giving off the impression that you're a slacker. And that's not what you are. You have a sense of purpose that I don't think most people your age have. So finding this new identity for you feels like the last piece of the puzzle. I think that's all I'm really missing is just kind of the comfort level with still looking like presentable but approachable, I guess you could say. So we want to make sure that there is um, a persona of you that can be taken seriously when you're working, right? But you also need a facet of you that is dateable. Exactly. Right? And the first step to all of that is taking off all of this, including those crappy ass slippers, which I'm sorry, that I can't abide by. So I would like you to go and change. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna start from scratch. All right. <laughs> I'll wait here and think about all the things we can do with those pants. <laughs> okay. Climb Mount Everest, jump from a plane. Jackie said that she was dressing in a way that was meant to hide how she was feeling. But I think that the way she chose to do that with the oversized clothes and the all black um, is also transmitting A, a sense of sadness, and B, don't look at me. I'm not important. I feel like without my makeup and my piercings and my jewelry, I could just be anybody. It makes me feel very exposed. Okay. Is there some connection between how many holes you have on your body and working in the music industry? I know so many of my friends have gotten nose piercings in the last few months. It's like the new normal. Nose piercing is the new normal. You heard it here first. <laughs> I'm nervous about this whole thing and seeing myself without makeup on. I feel like without my makeup and my piercings and my jewelry, I could just be anybody. It doesn't really give me a sense of character. It makes me feel very uncomfortable, very like, exposed. So, uh, how are you feeling about all that gun gun? Awful. I don't like my face. It's so... It's Wait, what, I don't understand. What's, what's wrong with your face? My cheeks are really fat. I have, like, a extra chin thing going on. and It's not a good face. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to stop you right there. What do you like about your face? I don't hate my lips. Could you say something uh, in the positive, not in the negative? <laughs> I have a good space between my eyes and my eyebrows, so that way I can put, you know, eyeshadow on nicely. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just really hard on myself. You think? Feel a little bit. Just a little. So, we are going to do this differently. When we go shopping, you are not allowed to say what you hate about yourself. You're only allowed to say what you like or don't like about the clothes. Okay. And if you start thinking that you hate something about your body, you have to whisper to me so that I can stamp on your foot. <laughs> okay. So, ready to go shopping? Ready. I'm noticing that there are real issues of self-esteem that she's been covering up in a variety of ways. I want Jackie to see, you know, this is just an exercise. That she can blame the clothes, she can say this doesn't work. But she's not allowed to blame herself. Welcome to Anna. Come with me, sweetie. <laughs> we talked about a few things earlier, and I do feel like there's a way to kind of have that music industry vibe and still like yourself more in terms of your figure and also not always look like you're going to a funeral. So I want to start by you picking some stuff out, and um, I want you to pick out something that you feel safe about, and then we're going to pick out something that really scares you. I'm not looking forward to that part. <laughs> okay. Okay. You go that way. Okay. I'll go this way. Jackie, what do you think about that? That? It's bright. It's very bright. Yeah, isn't that great? Oh, you picked up something purple. Well, it seems you like color, so I figured even though it's like a darker shade, it's a, it's a color at least. Yes, and normally I would say, okay, I don't want you to pick out anything you don't like, but when you tell me that you don't feel comfortable and that makes you feel nervous, then I feel like I have to push you. Well, I, she's looking at me like I'm totally crazy. What, what, no. what is it now? What's going through your head? No. <laughs> What's going on in there? 
I'm just getting used to the idea of, you know, trying something new. I'm nervous to step outside of my comfort zone and try something that I'm definitely not used to. To me, this whole process, it's like riding a bike, except the bike's on fire and you're on fire and everything's on fire and you're in hell, you know. Okay, thoughts, feelings. I don't like my midsection. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> okay, just assume that she's hurt. Overalls, yes or no? Maybe. Camouflage. Sometimes. Maybe and sometimes are not on the list. They're not on the menu. Turtleneck sweaters. Yes. Dickies. No. Yes! <laughs> I believe in a dickie. I'm bringing them back in rhinestones. Boo. Okay, take a look. Tell me what you see. Different. Not different. Let's talk about the clothes. You're in a print. You're in a skirt. You're wearing a flat. I like the color of the flats. I don't like the style. I hate pointy toed shoes. What? I think they're really ugly. What? <laughs> okay, pointy toed shoes always make your legs look longer. So that's a technical reason to like them. Okay. 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 Uh, go ahead. I'm not a big fan of leather skirts. Well, they, you know, what I don't like about this is that I don't think the wrap style is a good one for you because I don't, I don't so like either. this angle. But what I do like about it is the idea that you're getting a little bit of A on your hip, right? Because that also is going to make your waist look a little bit smaller. Tell me more. Um, I don't like the shirt at all. Okay, why not? It's too, like, square. I just don't like all this together. I actually love this pattern because I think it's quite modern. But functionally, what I like about this shirt is what it does to your shoulder, which it broadens it, right, with this kind of ruched cap sleeve. And that also creates a smaller waistline. And that's what we want, right? That's, that's, that's women, hourglass. So what's going through your head? You just went, uh-huh. I don't know, I'm just, it's, it's just a lot to take in, I guess. Yeah, is that why you're looking at me and not in the mirror? <laughs> I don't want to look at it. Well, why don't you want to look at it? What's it? This outfit. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. I don't feel it at all. Okay, thoughts, feelings. I like this one better than the last outfit. I, I don't mind the colors as much because there's a lot of black in it too. I'm not exactly thrilled with the fit of it. I agree, it's not the perfect fit, but remember, there's nothing perfect. <laughs> the other thing about this is that vertical stripes generally elongate because it forces the person who's looking at you to look up and down rather than across. And that's always a good thing. Definitely like dresses better than skirts. Okay, how does it feel when you're wearing a dress like this? I like them better when they're, if they're gonna be tighter, if they're tighter up here, because I don't like my midsection. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> okay, just assume that she's hurt. For something that's not black, I actually really like this dress. As do I. Now tell me why. I like the color. I think it's like a really nice color. It looks cool with my skin tone and like my hair and stuff. Yeah, and we, I put you in heels. How do you feel about that? These aren't awful. They're not awful. <laughs> God, thank God. They're not awful. All They're right, better than the pointy toe. I love a lace up on you because I think that that's still a little bit hard edged. Yeah, I could see myself wearing this. You've been dressing like one of the boys for a long time. And it's different when you present yourself in this way. Do you think that that's gonna make a difference in how you're perceived by them? I think so. I feel like when they see me in something like this, it'll be like less of like a question and more of like, okay, like, you know, maybe Jackie has more qualities to her than just being one of the guys. I feel like I, I kind of made a chink in the armor and that is what's really important. It's the first time that I think Jackie is feeling something different feel possible. I'm excited to see what Stacy has in store for me. But I'm a little nervous to see myself without as much makeup on or maybe with a new hairstyle or color. Not knowing what's going on like makes me nervous. It's definitely a big step for me. Jackie, now you came to me talking a lot about wanting to feel good in your skin. I did not want to take away from you all of the things that you love about your clothes, but what I did want to take away was the safety net that your clothes were providing for you. So, this is what you looked like when you got here. And this is you now. <laughs> I, it's a really nice change though. It's like a little overwhelming, but it's really cool. Now, I want to know if it works for you. 
Definitely. It's me, but it's like the side of me that I never really knew how to like bring out. <laughs> it's... Oh, this is like, <laughs> it's crazy. What do you like about it? It's feminine, but it's still me. It's like, you know, it's, it's punk rock, but it's like pretty punk rock. Well, that was the idea. But I think pretty punk could be its own category, like of style. <laughs> So, a couple of things. First, have to talk about the hair. We kept it asymmetric, but it looks so much healthier. I knew that you were gonna need some sort of leather jacket. So, this kind of pale pink, almost burgundy ombre is still tough, yet soft. And then we did a kind of gorgeous burgundy straight leg jean, which fits you uh, if you just do a little turn very well. <laughs> Very well. And those boots are so badass. Can we just take a look at those? Oh my god, wait, are they pointy too? <laughs> All, right, All right, you would with the pointy toe. Okay, there we have it. Stacey knows. Best. Stacey knows, but look at how long your legs look. They do. I don't look like I'm two feet tall anymore. So now that I've gotten your thoughts on that, you know that we took this look out into the street and we asked people the same question: whether they loved it, lusted after it or you, or wanted to run. And take a listen to what they said. Um, she's putting on the vibe that, you know, I know who I am and I'm ready for whatever comes. She has confidence out the window. She looks comfortable in her own skin. She looks like she is owning her outfit and she looks like she can strive. I think she looks really, really put together. She looks like she's maybe like too chic for me. <laughs> oh yes, she definitely attracts a lot of men. I could love her because she looks confident. I could definitely love her. Love. Love. Lust. Love. Those reactions were so much better than the first one. I mean, it's kind of amazing, isn't it? I'd say so. Are you glad you did it? 110%. Not even, like, a question of it. So, just, you know, one more opinion that we take a look at. Oh, my God! She looks amazing. This is... She, she's beautiful. People will see Jackie for who she is on the inside now, as well as the outside. I... I I can hardly even put into words how proud I am of her. This is more than any mom could ask for. I love you, baby girl. I love you so much. Oh, oh. how does that make you feel? Really good. I feel like I let her down a lot with how I dressed before. Like, it's really good to see that she doesn't have to worry about people judging me based on how I look. She can just see that people will see what's on the outside matches my inside, too. I know how to be tough when I need to, but I know how to be approachable and beautiful as well, inside and out. Yeah. Well, you always were, huh? It's a lot easier to see now. I think that it was really brave for Jackie to recognize at 19 that perhaps the way that she was dressing was holding herself back from the things that she really wants in her life. And I think this was a great way to kind of say there was a before Jackie and an after Jackie. Thank you so much. This whole process has made me realize that I don't have to be one of the guys to be treated like one of the guys. You have to come see my band, too, A Boy Named John. Do I have to mosh? No, no. Fantastic. <laughs> don't have to wear black clothing and fade into the background to be a part of something. I can stand out and I can be feminine and still feel good about myself.